ecstasy when it lets go of something that was encumbering it, something that was uh, that it was in reaction to, that it had anxiety around, right? So when you let go of that, oh, oh, ecstasy. Now, ecstasy through time, right? In the moment, it's ecstasy. But if you experience that through time, it shifts from ecstasy into bliss, right? So notice, this is a transrational, we're letting go, it's a natural upwelling of this ecstatic experience that in the moment is ecstasy and through time is bliss. Now, that we call it transrational because it's a, a spontaneous joy and excitement at the simple joy of being, right? It's just part of who we are. It's part of our nature. Ah, <gasps> the universe itself resonates with, yes, ecstasy, right? Through time, bliss. Now, that's different than joy and happiness. Joy and happiness, we can say, is a rational thing. Joy uh, can be described as the fulfillment of a value, right? So there's something that we want, something that we imagine is possible, and then it happens, it's fulfilled, and we feel joy, it's like, yes, ah, ah, yes, right? It, there's a, um, a recognition of something that we want, let's call that joy. Now joy, if we have that enough times, through time, it becomes happiness, right? Enough of yes, 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 we become happy. So joy is in the moment, for the rational um, judgment of something to say, yes, that's what I want. And happiness is that through and ecstasy are different, right? You don't have to actually uh, achieve something in order to feel ecstasy. You can feel ecstasy around anything. You just, this moment is so full. I let go of everything that was in the way of just noticing the ecstasy of the universe, right? Ecstasy. Joy, you don't experience joy. You experience joy when something goes right, right? That's, yes, joy. Team wins, deal closes, relationship comes through, get something you want, joy. Through time happiness. Now, and then we can say that that's rational. Then there's pre-rational, and that's the actual physical stuff. So it's pleasure, right? A nice stroke, sex, food, relaxation, warmth, warm bath, massage. Pleasure, it's actually a kinesthetic sensation. It's just, it comes unbidden, and in that sense, it's like ecstasy. It's not like I have to think pleasure into existence. I just open myself to mm, yummy ice cream or yummy wheatgrass when you get really sick, right? So, so pleasure, but that's in the moment. Now, if you have pleasure through time, we tend to call that fun, right? Because when you've got pleasure after pleasure after pleasure, it's like, yes, I'm having fun. So, uh, just just a way of talking now. I call these six together, right? It's fun enjoyment. It's another way of describing the fun enjoyment state. It's pleasure and fun, joy and happiness, ecstasy and bliss. Fun enjoyment. But just this way of looking at the pre-rational, just the physical pleasure that through time becomes fun, and the rational recognition of I'm getting my needs met, I'm getting my values met, joy which becomes happiness through time, and then the transrational. Oh my God. Ah, ah, sense, ah, that's recognition and sensation and joy, everything, but just the sheer intensity, the hugeness of it, the magic of the universe, feeling that, just opening to that. And it's really just an opening. It's, in a sense, ecstasy is always there waiting to be felt, and then we feel it. Yeah, so, and then through time, bliss. So just another way of looking at what it means to have good feelings and pleasure.